Hello all, my name is John. And I'm Tyler. And together we are DeLong Rigging Solutions, or DRS for short. Today we're going to go over some basic rigging terminology. These are terms that we'll be using for all of the one-shot training videos. The first term is a big one, rigging. Rigging is a broad term that encompasses arrangements of hardware, equipment, and systems that are used for the raising, lowering, and suspending of loads. Typical loads in the entertainment world is going to be things like sound equipment, lighting equipment, and scenery. Uh, rigging is often also used as a verb to describe the practice of suspending things in the air, and someone who suspends things in the air in the entertainment world is called a rigger. The next term is fly system. In the theater world, a fly system most often is a counterweight system that deals with the balance between the batten and your counterweight arbor. But it can also be a motorized system. A fly system in general is any system of fiber ropes, wire ropes, blocks, counterweights, motors, and other relay devices that enables the crew to fly loads quickly, quietly, and safely. Sage Directions is next on our list. Out means into the air or defying gravity. In means towards the ground or giving in to gravity. Upstage is away from the audience. Downstage is towards the audience. Stage left and stage right seem to confuse a lot of people. If you're facing the audience, then your left is stage left and your right is stage right. There are a lot of different fly systems. A hemp system referred to as a rope and sandbag system in the ANSI standard E1.4-1 is a traditional but mildly uncommon system where all loads are hung on natural or synthetic fiber rope that is counterweighted with sandbags or other weights attached to the rope via a trim clamp or a sundae also known as a cinch strap. A common, more modern fly system is a single purchase system. Like a hemp system, your loads will be suspended on a pipe or batten. However, in a single purchase system, that pipe is going to be suspended off of wire rope that goes through a series of blocks back to a counterweight arbor. The counterweight arbor is going to have a fiber rope attached to it called a purchase line. You use the purchase line to raise and lower the counterweight arbor to operate the system. In a single purchase system, you have a one-to-one -one ratio, meaning if you put a thousand pounds on the pipe, you need a thousand pounds in the arbor. Unlike a double purchase system. In a double purchase system, you have a two to one ratio, meaning if you have a thousand pounds on the pipe, you need two thousand pounds in the arbor. The reason for this being in a double purchase system, you are giving up mechanical advantage to gain distance. You do this so you can have your locking rail up off of the floor to give you more wing space in the theater. But also, with a double purchase system, you're able to bring the pipe all the way to the ground and still get it all the way out. It should be noted that both single and double purchase systems have different names in the ANSI standards. In ANSI standard E1.4-1, they are referred to as single reeve and double reeve systems. While these are more descriptive, it is much more common to hear single purchase and double purchase while in a working environment. There are also motorized fly systems out there that use electric motors to raise and lower battens. But these systems are expensive and do have some drawbacks. That being said, technology is rapidly advancing and these systems are likely to become increasingly affordable and user friendly. Some other terms we should define are fiber rope and wire rope. A fiber rope may be a natural or synthetic rope that is twisted, braided, or woven together. When we say fiber rope, we're talking about the kind of rope you use to tie knots. Wire rope, or steel rope, is a rope made of tiny metal wires that are twisted into strands that are then twisted together to create your wire rope. When we say wire rope, we're talking about the kind of rope that has an eye built into it and you would use shackles to attach it to things. The last general term we want to make sure you understand is block. Uh, a block is a assembly with a shiv, also known as a pulley, in it. In a fly system, there are lots of different kinds of blocks. You have head blocks that are above the arbor. You have tension blocks, also known as foot blocks, they're below the arbor. You also have loft blocks out above the battens. 
And there are also things like mule blocks or diverter blocks. They're typically used to get a wire rope around an obstacle on the grid. I think this is a good place to stop for now. That being said, folks, please remember that DeLon Rigan Solutions one-shot train videos are meant as general overviews. Every system is different. Every venue has different procedures. All statements made make certain assumptions about systems and venue similarities. Nothing can replace on-site train with a qualified individual. If you ever have a question or concern about rigging, please do not hesitate to reach out to DRS or another qualified vendor.